Hey friends, this is Atif. Hope you're well and welcome to the new update on Dust Network. In my previous videos, I shared with you three patterns and Dust Network has broken them out one after another. One was a big rising wedge pattern on the weekly time frame chart and I shared this idea for my members at the Patreon on 7th of November. Then I shared this uh, falling wedge pattern. Let me do, uh, play these charts and show you how the price line followed these ideas. And this was a really, very really big rising wedge pattern on the weekly time frame. At that time, Dust Network was moving at 24.8 cents, approximately 25 cents. Our first target was 32 cents and second target was 42.5. And I've played the chart and you can see that the price line moved up, tested the previous resistance as support and rallied very well. And the second chart was uh, this uh, falling wedge pattern on the four hourly time frame that I shared at the first week of December and the price line broke out the resistance. Our first target was 29.15 and second target was 35.68. Now, after playing the chart, we can see that the price line crossed those targets. And in my previous video, I shared this big rising wedge pattern on the weekly time frame again. And by the way, I'm also sharing the different trading ideas here uh, for my members at the Patreon. And if you would like to support me here for more ideas, you can uh, follow the link I've shared in the video's description to support me there. Now, let's move back to the weekly time frame. And by the way, this was the video when I was showing you that the Dust Network is going to break out a very uh, big rising wedge. Uh, sorry, this is not rising wedge. This was a, an, a rising channel or up channel on the weekly time frame. And let me just show you this channel. This was the channel. Uh, the, which I was showing you and we had rejection here. We had another rejection here and this was the massive rejection. And I told you that uh, this is a very, very strong support because previously Dust Network when uh, formed this support here, let me play the trend line. It will be more understandable after that for you. Now you can clearly see when previously after this rally, the price line was rejected, found a resistance here and broke it out as a support. The price line never broke it down and the same kind of resistance and support we found here that was at approximately 46 cents. We had a rally here. We had a rejection by this 46 cents resistance. And once we broke it out, I told you that even though we are testing the support, but we will not break it down because previously the Dust Network has been doing so. Now I have changed the time period from weekly chart to daily time frame, And you can see the price line moved down, tested this support, this this previous resistance of 46 cents as a support and moved up. And now we have also broken out the next resistance of a very big channel that I was showing you. And after, sorry, this is not the resistance of the channel. This is another resistance I will show you. This was the resistance of the ch channel that I was showing you in my previous video. Okay, here we can see if I switch back to the weekly time frame, and this was a very, very strong and long term resistance that the, the price line. Uh, found here in August 2020 uh, when first time price line was rejected here. If I zoom this chart out, then you can see we had a very big rally and we had a strong rejection. Then we had another rally. Then we had another strong rejection by this trend line. And uh, here we had another rejection. If I change the time period to daily time frame, then we can see that we had a very strong rejection and move down. And after that, uh, recently the price line has broken out this very, very long term resistance. Therefore, I am expecting a very big move. But if we take a look at the oscillator here, then previously the price line formed this high and the next high is very, very uh, big high than the previous high. But if we take a look at the oscillator, oscillator formed this high below the price line. If you watch the value, value was 82 and here the value was uh, 85, sorry, 88. And right now the value is 86. So we need more higher value in order to remove this bearish divergence because here RSI formed 88 and here it is forming 82. The difference is really, very really small. And I'm expecting that soon this difference from the oscillator will be removed and we will form another higher than previous high by this oscillator. And now we are, we can expect a really, very really long-term and big move like Luna has started 
And that was also the chart that I shared for my members on 2nd of December. And you can see that this was quite similar move on the weekly time frame. It broke out the rising wedge pattern and our target was $98. And I have been sharing with you this move uh, here on the YouTube as well. And you can see that so far it has rallied up to $103. I'll definitely post another update on Luna and on the Dust Network video as well for the most recent targets. So this was the update so far. I hope that you have liked the analysis. Then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well. And for more ideas, you can also support me at the Patreon because here I'm sharing the different trading ideas for you on the daily basis. You can find the link to join me here in the video's description I have shared. Take care. Goodbye.